Hi guys, Stuart here from Azure World and thanks for joining me on today's tutorial uh, which is brought to you um, courtesy of Moonraker Radio Communication Manufacturer and Suppliers. Many thanks to them for uh, sponsoring Azure World with our tutorials. Okay, without further ado, what we're going to talk about is the Whistler 10 10 uh, basic entry level um, radio scanner and um, okay so frequencies that it um, actually covers um, um, there it is um, 29.54 megahertz um, 108 to 136 which is your civil aviation band um, 137 to 174 and finally 380 to 512 okay um so i'm mainly going to talk about with this radio um uh, what i know best which is the um air band um, but it will also pick up the marine band um it will pick up the amateur radio band and um, it's got some quite nice um, features um, that, that are actually on this radio which um, you don't find um, in this um, price um, bracket um, talking of price uh, Moonraker um, are selling these for just under £80 £79.95 I believe okay so here's the um, radio um, direct entry input for your frequencies so it's so simple to uh, program what program up this um, radio so it comes with 200 um, channels so, and they are stored in 10 banks okay so say for example we wanted to program up um, our local airfield and um, say for example if you were at Luton or East Mids or wherever um, so, so, okay so you would hit um, you switch the radio on and you would press that little button there that says program then the radio would uh, come up on the uh, display just here by saying PGM okay and um, so it would start off at um, um, 1 okay so you would um, from that point um, you could then start programming up your um, radio okay so I, I'm just going through this radio I've got in front of me right now so okay so channel 1 it would say okay so say for example I wanted to store um, an east mids frequency so I'd go 1 2 4 point 0 hit enter and that would then put that into uh, channel 1 okay and um, then you'd click that up like that and then say you want the next frequency say 137.175 and you'd say enter right and then it would uh, have gone into um, channel number two and number three exactly the same and so on and so on okay you keep going up and up okay say for example you were at um, you wanted Luton okay so what you do you'd press um, so would press number two program okay bank two okay let's have a look and then you'd go up so when it gets up to 20 okay 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 okay so I've used these keys here okay I've used these keys to go up and now I'm on number 21 okay so that would be in bank two okay so don't forget each time press the all you got to do hit the program key right and go up 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 like that yep and then till you get to 21 and then okay I don't know the frequencies for Luton but say it was um, one um, one uh, two three point seven yep you do that hit enter and then it would be stored in number 21 you go up number 22 and then exactly the same for the next frequency and so on and so on okay pretty straightforward there I think okay um, and then once you've got it programmed up it is as simple as it in the scan right and so say if you wanted these mids to um, scan you'd go scan one right and if you wanted Luton to go as well two 
okay if you wanted is to stop press one and it would only be scanning number two okay so I don't think it could be uh, much more simpler than that okay um, if you wanted the radio to scan through um, certain um, type of frequency say the marine band automatically you'd hit that button there okay that button would not be applicable for this country because I believe that's for the fire that one is for the air band it would go through the whole air band okay that one is for the amateur band that one's not applicable in the UK because that is the weather channel one this is a useful little feature that I'll um, quickly explain about now that's similar to um, what the unit ends use and call as close call okay so if something's transmitting and you've got that running and you're within uh, a close range of that particular transmitter um, that will get sent to your radio and your radio will lock straight onto it okay great useful feature say you go to an airfield and you don't know any of the frequencies have that running uh, when it picks something up and you know that's the one you want yes you would just go enter right, and then program and then you could um, choose where you want to put that frequency okay and um, by going oops let me just go back skip to stage for you and you just go up and down until you see where and the free channel would be okay so you could put it say into bank number three okay just by using these up down up down okay um so useful feature that and there's a little light okay so it's preset for a length of time hit that and that puts the orange light you've got there um yes you could do a tune so you just press that and that would all, that would stay on that particular frequency okay um there's a um, lockout uh, let's have a look what else other interesting things we've got yeah delay and um, so before it um, when you're programming this up and you're putting it into the uh, program mode yeah and um, you can put a slight delay and um, before it moves on to the uh, next uh, before it starts scanning again basically so if it um, stopped on 124.0 when it was going through the um, banks as it was scanning it would uh, have a slight delay because sometimes um, yeah, a ground controller could be talking and there'll be a slight delay before the um, aircraft would talk back okay so it would just hold on that channel for just that little bit longer um, let's have a look this is what it comes with um, basically the power adapter um, the rubber duck aerial okay um, when using this radio I found that the rubber duck aerial is superb um, it works it's, it's a really sensitive radio uh, very very surprised how good the um, reception is with this uh, um, it's, it's superb I am um, uh, I wouldn't be re recommending it um, if it was that if it wasn't but it is it's super I, I've been using it in the house and picking up our local airfield without any problem at all so yep yeah, it's good um, this little thing here that's um, hold your batteries which I'm going to explain more about in just two seconds okay here we go basically what the radio comes with is one of these yellow ones and a black one why are they different colors you ask well the reason for that is the yellow one that is for holding NICAD rechargeable batteries okay um, you must make sure you have the correct one in the radio that holds the batteries like a cassette holder for the batteries okay the black is for um, non rechargeable batteries just your standard uh, batteries that you'd buy from the shops okay so on the back of the radio yeah there's a little slide there the little slide out for um, the batteries okay so you push that down and inside there is where you would put that um, battery cassette holder thing yeah so remember the black is for standard normal batteries the yellow is for rechargeable batteries it's very very important you get that the right way around okay all right um my thoughts about the radio yep superb um it's if civil um radio is your um, thing or listening to the amateur band or marine um, I can't fault this um, radio as a basic 
entry level radio that's very simple to uh, program um, it does not cover the um, uh, military airband the instructions say it does um, but um, actually um, no I, I have to t tell you and um, don't get confused it will not cover the uh, military airband frequencies it may have a couple of um, up on the top end and um, because it starts at 380 megahertz and um, but most of the uh, military airband is uh, from a, a, um, about 220 okay so uh, just bear that in mind if um, that doesn't bother you and you just want to listen to civil um, aircraft um, and uh, the marine and other things yep um, I can't as I said fault the radio it's superb okay um, I won't go on anymore um, uh, please if you're interested in one of these I know Moonraker are they have um, one of the best prices in the country for this particular radio at the moment so certainly give the, um, Chris a call down at um, uh, Moonraker and uh, they will uh, certainly mention Airshow World and uh, to put a smile on his face and wh what else have we got to tell you well don't forget um, it's always a good idea to subscribe to Azure World and um, click that little option uh, when you subscribe um, that uh, says get notifications and then you'll keep up to date with everything that's going on at Airshow World and uh, we've been pretty busy just recently uh, releasing lots lots of videos we're getting towards um, 700 uh, different videos now um, it's not just tutorials obviously that's just a very small part of it um, it's uh, mainly Airshow um, videos from all over the world and also um, and base visits and also at the moment we're doing uh, our series of classic um, air shows um, so if you like some of the um, old classic shows from the um, 90, early 90s right up to well right up to today certainly yeah, subscribe to our show world okay um, I hope we've not uh, confused you too much and um, thanks for watching and uh, We'll catch you on the next tutorial. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.